Hi everybody, welcome back for the Friday episode of Art with Miss Maureen. Today it's all about collage. First of all, I just want to thank everybody. This has been an awesome week. I've gotten texts, I've gotten Facebook messages, I've gotten Facebook comments and posts, and I really appreciate everybody commenting on the um, videos and posting pictures and telling me how much their kids are enjoying these projects. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It makes me miss you more, but I can't wait to see everybody. So today I'm going to be walking you through how to do a couple of different types of collages. These are not the only ideas. You could do a robot. You could do some insects. You could do a an animal. I did a chameleon. You could even do a collage of just circles. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do a few of these. I'm also going to post some step-by-step -step picture collages of how I did those on my Facebook page. I can't post videos and pictures on the same post, so they have to be separate. So just scroll through my Facebook feed and you'll see them. So the materials you're going to need today, a pair of scissors, um, a marker if you want to color in the eye, a glue stick or Elmer's glue, whatever kind of glue you have will work, bottled glue will work just fine. Um, a piece of paper or cardstock, if you don't have that, you could use a cereal box. The papers that you made earlier are great for this project, for the shaving cream paper. Remember the tie-dye paper we did yesterday? This is actually the paper I had underneath it while it was drying, and I love the way it turned out so much. So I'm using that. And I also have some other decorative papers that I made. This paper I just made by putting bits of paint on the paper and folding it in half and squishing it. And it made a super cool type of um, paper. And I have a bunch of scrapbook paper. If you don't have scrapbook paper, you probably have wrapping paper or old gift bags. If you ask your parents if you're allowed to cut these up, then those are great to use in these projects as well. So to make your a simple collage animal, you can really do any shape. You can look on the internet for silhouettes of animals. I just did a fish just to show you a really simple start. So I took a bunch of my paper and I, my cat's trying to get in the door. Hold on, I need to let my cat in. She likes to be a part of these videos, if you remember. She doesn't help much, but she likes to be in here. <clears throat> Hi, Maggie. So I took all the papers that I made and I cut them up into shapes. I did rectangles and squares, but it really doesn't matter. You can do any shapes at all that you want. I don't even arrange them first. I just take my glue stick I like to have a piece of scrap paper on my table because then I can just start gluing. Those of you who are in class with me know you only need glue on the edges because if the edges are stuck, then the middles will automatically stick. So I'm just gonna start gluing this to my shape, whether it's a fish or whatever other animal you have. And I'm not worried about the edges that are kind of hanging off kind of crazy like this because at the very end, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all of these. So I'm just gonna to continue to kind of build almost like a patchwork quilt and filling these in until my entire fish is covered with these awesome papers. Another thing that you can actually use are um, magazines. A lot of times there's ads in there with like large chunks of color. So that's another good way to get some of these papers. So let's pretend this whole thing is covered. I'm gonna flip it from the back. You can easily see where you need to trim the paper from the back. It's also good to kind of just give it a nice iron, kind of press the back and make sure that all those papers are glued. It's also good to let it sit for a minute because the glue will dry and all those papers will just adhere better but I'm just gonna trim it for now. And you can see how easily that trims and looks really nice. 
And then to finish it off, you could make separate fins or you can just make a simple eye. Put the eyeball back there since I'm not finished. And that's where I could take my marker, color that in. I like to try to leave a little bit of a white spot for the highlight. It usually makes the eye look like it has come to life. So there's a cute little fish. The bugs are super simple. Oh, I wanted to show you this book too. This is a fantastic book. Claire Young's is a collage artist. This is a book I got off of Amazon. I know you won't be able to get anything from Amazon for a little while, but if you look her up on Pinterest or on the internet, you're gonna be able to find all of her amazing collages. Another artist that you can look at is Eric Carl, who did The Very Hungry Caterpillar. His papers are also made with collages. So those are great for inspiration. So if I were to do an insect, the first thing I'm gonna do is to cut out my insect body. If you are more comfortable drawing on the back, you can draw. I'm just gonna cut freehand like this. There's a body. <clears throat> Easy way to make wings. Those of you who are in my class know this. Hopefully, fold your paper in half and cut your wings out at the same time. I'm just gonna do some big teardrop shapes for my wings. If you want to make your wings look more interesting, <clears throat> you can go back to some of these papers. Let's take this pink paper. And I'm going to, you could either do this patchwork that we did for the fish, or you could just cover half. So the easiest way I find is to put the glue on the background shape. Cover half. And then again, flip it over, trim from the back. And that's just one way to make your wing look a little bit more interesting. So there's my bug coming to life. Again, I could add an eye. If you have wiggly eyes, you could add wiggly eyes. For feet, I'm gonna show you a really great trick. Let me find some paper that I like. So I just take my paper, I like to cut it the length of the feet that I want. And then all I need to do is trim off those little legs. When you glue these on, you're actually gonna glue on the front. Put a little bit of glue and then stick that leg underneath your insect. And your insect will have legs. And again, I would add an eye. Maybe I'll peel the eye off my fish for a second so you can see what it looks like. There's a bug with a giant eye. Oh, I like him. He's ready to take off. <clears throat> the circles, I just cut four circles at the same time. This is fun if you have a lot of scrap paper and you only have a couple minutes a day. This is great for the whole family to do. Every day you can find 10 minutes and you can just cut out four circles for each that are in different sizes. And when you stack them together, it makes these beautiful designs. And then when you put them all together, so you can see I have different sizes, that's called a concentric circle. I'll flip it on the white side so that you can see it better. And then when they're glued together, I have layers of four and put all together. It can make this beautiful design. And parents, I'm sure you already know this, but when you put something in a frame, it immediately elevates it and makes it look like an amazing piece of art that you bought at the store. So I encourage you to frame your art when you get a chance. So again, I said that there were limitless things you could do. You could create a landscape collage. 
We talked a little bit about robots earlier. So instead of drawing a robot, if you made a roll a robot game, you could create a robot out of a collage, out of cut shapes, out of the cut paper. There's my finished bug again with my little antennas. You could glue these to paper and draw the antennas instead. When I did this project with kids at school at, or at my studio, we put them in a giant bug jar as if we had caught bugs in a jar and that was fun. Here's my butterfly and my chameleon. Endless possibilities with collage. Look up some collage artists like Eric Carle or Claire Youngs. Um, Henry Matisse is also another very well-known famous artist. Enjoy yourselves, enjoy your time together, be kind to each other, and I am really looking forward to seeing you next week. Have a great weekend.